Warp page is very very important topic which needs to be considered while designing the part, selecting the material for the part and while mold design also. My name is Jagdish Atoye and in this video I am providing you the information related to the warp page, the causes of the warp page and the remedies to mitigate the warp page. Do subscribe, like and share the videos and press the bell icon so that you never miss any new learning video from the design cakes. So what is happening with these part so this is warpage and the warpage is the deformation that occurs when there is uneven shrinkage in the different parts of your molded material or molded component the result is twisted uneven or the bail shape which was not intended during the design phase and the warpage occurs when there are variations of internal stresses in the material caused by the variations in the shrinkage the warp part may not be functional or visually acceptable for example if this is the part which we designed and which may get installed in some applications as an assembly component but if this part gets warped like this then it may not function properly and it may not be visually acceptable also what are the causes that leads to the warpage on the part so the warpage is usually caused by the non-uniform cooling of the part so if uh, you're having the unbalanced cooling that leads to the warpage for example like this the causes related to the design like non-uniform wall thickness like this leads to the non-uniform cooling and ultimately it leads to the warpage because of the internal stresses that cause the part to warp due to the temperature differences so if you design like the part with the non-uniform thickness like this and you may get the part like this because of the temperature difference here the thickness is higher here the thickness is low so definitely it will have the temperature difference during the sortification and that leads to the warpage of the part then asymmetrical part geometry is also one of the cause that leads to the warpage and your cooling ratio different cooling ratios in the different parts of the mold causes the plastic to cool differently and it creates uh, internal stresses these internal stresses when released they tend to warpage and warpage can also be caused due to improper ejection mechanism during like the ejection of the part from the mold insufficient injection pressure and insufficient holding pressure that also leads to the warpage of the part and as a design engineer though we are not directly uh, responsible for this factor like insufficient holding pressure or insufficient injection pressure and a different cooling ratios and all but if you maintain the uniform thickness of the parts and if you design some stiffening profile so we can avoid that defect here also if you observe this part is getting warped in this area but at this corner uh, it is not getting warped that much as like it is getting warped here because here the stress concentration is disturbed by giving the fillet. So we, we are having some remedial actions to mitigate this warpage defect. Stinkage and the warpage. Stinkage is the internal property of the material. We can modify that or we can reduce the shrinkage percentage by adding some enforcement in the composition. And if the material change is not allowed or if the material modifications is not allowed, then we can mitigate that by adding some stiffening profile. So we can deal with the shrinkage, war, shrinkage and warpage with the design also. We can increase the stiffness of the design. So now let's discuss what remedies we can have for the warpage. This part is also a warp part and this part is also getting warp or shrink. The first remedy is to select the plastic material having less shrinkage. If we have the options or right to select the material, then we should select the material uh, with the less shrinkage. Second remedy is to minimize the differential shrinkage by reinforcing the materials. We can add the reinforcement, filler reinforcement or fiber reinforcement or the glass reinforcement or the mineral reinforcement to minimize the shrinkage percentage of the material. The next is to provide sufficiently long cooling time to avoid the development of residue stresses and being locked into the part so by providing the sufficiently long cooling time we'll be able to deal with this warpage defect the other way to reduce the warpage with some design modification is by adding sufficiently uh, like all the stiffening profile or the support features such as like a reeve or gusset so we can add the stiffening or the support feature if you design the part in this manner so definitely the part will get warped so to avoid that warpage we can go for adding the stiffening profile like we can design the gusset like this 
so that it will not work as a design engineer we can modify the geometry by adding some stifting profile or some support features to deal with the warp page like this on, on this part also if you design the part definitely it may get warp in that cases we can add this stiffening profile or the stiffeners that we can call it as a gusset to give the maximum strength to the part we can alter the design to avoid the thick sections and we can maintain the uniform wall thickness so it will solidify uniformly for example in this diagram the part is having non-uniform thickness so we can make it uh, uniform by pouring out if the customer wants to maintain the uniform thickness so we can go for this first case like by removing this side material and we can maintain the uniform thickness for this part but if the customer wants this side to be flat and this side to be flat in, in from this middle portion we can remove the material throughout and we can maintain the uniform thickness and if that is also not allowed so we can maintain it from this side we can remove this portion and again if the requirement or the application requirement is to have this side as a flat and this side as a flat then in that cases we can go for this configuration and the warp page can also be reduced or eliminated by providing the proper ejection mechanism so we can maintain the proper ejection system and by providing the sufficient injection pressure and by providing the sufficient holding pressure we can mitigate this warpage defect as a design engineer we can take the remedial actions priorly like adding the stiffening profile such as ream or gusset and we can design the part with the uniform thickness we can have the like material modifications also if it is allowed so we can select the materials with having less sinkage percentage because ultimately it will lead to the warpage because if you design the part with the non-uniform thickness that non-uniform thickness leads to the non-uniform sortification or uneven sortification and that uneven sortification leads to the temperature difference and that temperature difference leads to the internal stresses on the part and that internal stresses leads to the warpage so they are related interrelated that's why as a design engineer we need to maintain the uniform thickness and based on the shape or the geometry we can add the stiffening profile to deal with this warpage defect.